Hey, what's up everybody? How you guys doing? So uh, with this video, I'm going to be uh, talking about how to get more storage out of your ZTE Max for Boost Mobile. Uh, this method works with just about any other Android device. So without further ado, let's get in it. Well, hey guys, welcome to the, uh, today's video. Well, I'm going to start it again. Uh, so I'm going to be talking about how you can expand the storage on your ZTE Max for Boost Mobile. And this generally works with any Android device, especially if you want to get more storage out of it. Like, you know, uh, today's applications are a lot bigger and uh, they take up quite a bit of space. And 8 gigs is starting to become obsolete, uh, even though it still can. You can still run a, a device with 8 gigs and have no problems. But it is eventually going to be obsolete, especially with how, you know, how much bigger applications are becoming. Um, phones like the LG Realm are, you know, really hard to go by. Four gigs of internal storage with only one gig available for like applications and videos and stuff. It's um, really, really, really uh, hard to deal with. So anyways, I'm going to show you guys basically using link to SD and um, partitioning your SD card. And one of the ways you guys can, uh, well, one of the apps you guys will need to download is uh, you will need link to SD. This is the app that is going to move your application over to um, your second partition of your SD card. Now I do advise getting the pro version. And the reason why I advise this is because uh, this will move a bulk of the application to your second partition. However, with the pro version, <clears throat> you could actually move the entire application over and it would run, it would function uh, from the SD card completely. So 100% of the app will be, will be moved over and I'll show you guys that here in a little bit. Uh, so anyways, we're gonna switch it up. Um, there is two methods of how you could do this uh, as far as partitioning your, your SD card. Um, there is an application that you can download from the Play Store. I'll talk about that at the end of the video. Um, but the, the method I like to use requires a PC and a SD card reader, which I have right here. And I do have an eight gig SD card inside, so. Um, this is a fresh SD card. It's not the one that I have in my, in my ZTE Max. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, a fresh format. So anyways, let's go to, uh, my PC and get it started. Okay. So now we're with the PC right now and I already, um, put the, um, the SD card in the SD card reader. Now with this program, this right here is called the mini tool partition wizard. Okay. This is what you're going to use to partition your, your micro SD card. Um, so you could build a second partition for applications on your ZTE max or your Android device. Now you could connect your device with the USB cable, but I wouldn't recommend it just because of what this program is going to do. Um, having a, a, um, USB cable, you know, being the medium between the SD card and this program, uh, just, you know, just makes it a little buggy or whatever. So I would suggest using an SD card reader, or if you have an SD card reader on your laptop or PC, use that and, um, you know, it'll just be much better. So anyways, so as you guys can see right here, um, it tells me, you know, with my eight gig, basically I have 7.40, which is eight gigs of, uh, of storage right here. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to click on it and um, right up here, I'm going to click delete. And so now the entire SD card is blank, which it says right here, unallocated 7.4 GB or basically 7.40 gigabytes. Um, from this point now, up here, you have this plus sign. It's gonna, you're gonna click that to start creating your partitions. So the first partition, you know, we don't really need to label it. Um, but right here in, a here in the box is going to right here, it says file system. It's going to have, um, the format. So we're going to change that over to fat 32 in a dropdown. Um, hold on, let me, uh, take this camera off here real quick. Okay. So let me bring it closer so you guys can see. All right. So right here in file system, it has, uh, 
basically uh, NTFS. I'm going to change that to the FAT32. And um, we're going to go over here and we're going to shorten it as such. So I'm going to bring it down to about half. So. Let's go. Um, all right, there's about good. That's about a good amount. So then we'll click OK. And now we have a 2.8 unallocated. So we're going to click on this portion right here. And we're going to go up and we're going to create. And it tells you right here the new creative partition cannot be used by Windows because it could not only be recognized. Do you want to continue? Click yes. And from right here, this is where we're going to build that second partition. And here you can use any one of these, ext2, ext3, or ext4. Um, with the ZTE Max, I've noticed that ext4 works really good. So we're going to format it to that. And um, we're just going to kind of move it over a little bit, leaving uh, even at least about um, 99 of it unallocated. So we're going to have basically 2.66 gigs. Um, click OK. So like right here at the end, we have like 102 megabytes free. So we're going to click on that. And we're going to go up. And we're going to click Create. And uh, this last partition is really going to help... Um, it's really going to help with transitioning between applications. So we're going to go here and we're going to choose Linux Swap, which will help uh, open and close applications. And we're just going to click OK. So now once that's done, basically it should look like this. You should have your FAT32, which is your, your standard SD card storage. You should have um, EXT4 for the ZTE Max or EXT3, EXT2 for whatever other Android device you have. And then we should have Linux Swap just to help um, move in and out of applications. So we'll go to the top and we'll click Apply. And it'll tell you right here, you know, the little, the little note. Let's click Yes. And we shall watch it go. So now that it's done, it tells you right here, applied all the pending changes successfully. So now this 8 gig SD card has 4.6 gigs, basically for like pictures, music, and stuff like that. It's got 2.7 gigs to apply applications to that location. So any app, which I also recommend to be careful with system applications. But just about any app can be moved over using link to SD to this partition, and it will run off that partition perfect perfectly. And with the 98 megabytes of Linux swap, it's going to be able to open up those apps and run them a lot, a lot quicker, basically. If you don't have Linux swap, it's going to be a little wonky, a little sluggish. But with Linux swap, it actually helps with the application opening. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at the Max and uh, finish off this tutorial. OK, so right now um, we have Link to SD, and we have the Plus version opened up. And I'm going to tell you guys why it's, you know, it's worth spending. I think it's like $1.99 for the uh, Plus uh, licensing. So we're going to move Facebook, which uh, if you guys notice, Facebook has like 182.82 megabytes. Uh, that's its total size on um, the storage of this phone. So I'm going to click it to open it. And now you got this little pie chart here that kind of helps you uh, understand how much of the application is on the internal storage, which you guys see right here. It has a little mobile sign. That means it's on my phone. 182.82 megabytes is taking up space on my phone. So I want to move it to my second partition, which is uh, ext4. 
and there's 0, 0.00 bytes of it at all put on there. So right here, you'll kind of see like all the, how much of the data and where it's used, like 6.52 megabytes is used in um, libraries of 1.63 megabytes in DEX, 31.01 uh, of the APK file. And then of course the data is 135.76 megabytes, cache is 7.85 megabytes. So we're gonna move all this to the ext4 partition of the SD card. And what you wanna do is you wanna click link to SD. And now this is why the pro version comes in handy. Right here, as you guys can see this, this unlock symbol right here, it's because I have the pro version. If you have the free version only, this will be locked. You won't be able to move the or link the internal data at all whatsoever. Uh, so that's why I recommend getting the pro version, but we'll check those two and then we'll click OK and it'll cr it's creating a link. And while it's creating a link basically means that it's going to start moving all that data over to the um, the ext4 partition of the SD card. And um, so we'll just wait for that to happen. Now, there is another way you guys can partition your SD card. It's using an application called a parted. I will show you guys that here on my phone from the uh, Play Store. And uh, by using that, um, you can partition your SD card from your phone without the need of a PC. Uh, this version gets a little sloppy sometimes, and I'll, I'll talk about that at the end um, if you guys decide to use that method. But okay, so the application is now moved over. So now when we click OK, if we look at the pie chart, it'll show us 100% of that is moved over. So now that whole, you know, 182. Point ninety one now is now moved over to the ext4 partition so if I click on the menu here and I go to storage info it'll show me so basically my internal storage I have 96% of it free of the SD card which is the um, the internal SD card there's 85% free of um, 4.8 gigabytes my external SD card which is uh, 11 it's, you know, because I have a 16 gig in here. 11.85 is what I have open for pictures and music. And there's 64% um, of it free. Now, the second partition, and it's weird because even though you're using ext4, it reads it as SD ext2. 15% uh, of it is free because all my apps are mostly on this partition, as you guys can see. Um, out of uh, 2.65 gigabytes. Um, I'm using 2.24 gigs, so only 419 megabytes are free. But that's okay because that just leaves the rest of, of uh, my storages opened up, which means that I can, you know, I can still install applications and I can leave them on the phone, running from the phone, and I would have no issues along with the other apps that I have here. So that is a super huge advantage of having Link to SD on your ZTE Max. Now. There is another version, uh, like I said, of how to um, how to partition your SD card. I'm going to download it right now for you guys. I don't have it on my phone, um, but we're going to look for this application right here. It's called A Parted SD Card Partition. I'm going to download it right now, and we're going to launch it so I can show you guys what it looks like. Now, with this one, it does also partition your SD card. But it does act a little bit wonky um, when it does create the partitions. Usually when you create the ext4, um, it starts to create all the partitions on your SD card, but then it fails. So then I'll show you guys a fix for that. But uh, so let's go ahead and open it. And it's going to take a minute to, uh, to set itself up. So we'll click uh, to grant super user permissions. And this is why you'll need root also is because you need that for this app to function as well so it's gonna take a minute here to install its its uh, lib files and it's gonna restart now it's already gonna pick up that my SD cards partitioned or it should um, but I'm not going to <laughs> repartition my SD card at all because I already have all my information there so and it comes with all these ads so you just click the X to move it away as you guys can see, it, it reads my partition already. So it pretty much shows already like how much of my 16 gig is there. But what you would do um, to partition your SD card is you would go into settings and you would go to storage and unmount your external SD card so this app can read it. Once it's unmounted, you go into here and you just 
basically right here. You just click these plus signs to create um, the partition you want and you size it up the same way as I did with the program on my PC. And when that's done, you click apply changes and it will partition it the way you set it up. Now, like I was saying, sometimes when it creates the ext4, it kind of fails. So what you want to do is if that happens, go to tools and you'll see this right here. And then I'll tell you like, you know, your first partition, second partition, third, you know, third partition and et cetera, if you have like four or five or whatever, but I only have three. And what you do here is the, the ext4 that was created that failed, you'll check that. And then right here on this drop down list, you'll click format and you'll format it, you'll format it to ext4 and that will fix the issue. And um, yeah, I'm gonna leave the application. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's um, that's how you basically get your SD card partition. That's how you use link to SD to move applications on your second partition. And with that, I can have, you know, a good amount of applications on here that are, you know, really big and um, it won't slow down my phone at all whatsoever. Um, so the ZTE Max, for most people that experience lagginess, I don't experience that whatsoever. Uh, everything works pretty much the way I want it to. And it's a dual core, so uh, it's supposed to be like, you know, slower, but it's in fact not at all. Um, it can pretty much stand up to some of the low, you know, like I would say like the, the low tier devices, like the ZTE Speed, which has a quad core processing. Uh, my ZTE Max is actually faster than this device. Uh, same goes... Uh, well, it's a it's about on par now with the Warp Sync, uh, the Warp Sync being a quad core processor with two gigs of RAM. This only having one gig of RAM, dual core processor, and it can actually keep up with the Warp Sync, which is a quad core with two gigs of RAM. So that's that's about as you know that's pretty good performance. Uh, you know, a, a good performance spike when it comes to the ZTE Max with uh, using Link to SD. So hopefully you guys found this tutorial helpful, and if you guys did, let me know by clicking that thumbs up button. And um, if you have not subscribed, please do so. Click that subscribe button uh, on whatever platform you're watching it from. And share this video with uh, friends, family, you know, using your social network like Google+, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, Keek. Well, if you guys can share it on Keek, I don't think so. <laughs> but, you know, whatever uh, social network you guys use, share it on there and um, let everyone know. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.